is here we place the force and couple system by an equivalent resultant force and couple moment acting at point O. So at point O. So I need to find the equivalent resist, uh, resultant force and couple moment acting at point O. So resultant force is relatively easy. I can do that. Come on. So resolving uh, 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 my, my forces into x, y components, I've got those two for my uh, this force. And I've got for this force, I've got my y and x component here. So once I've got that, I can do sum of all the forces along x, and I can do sum of all the forces along y. So I've got the two numbers here. And, and uh, I can find the the resultant force and also its direction won't go into the detail you already know this so that's that's the force now this force acts on the body and can apply anywhere so so or or or, or the uh or the uh sorry uh, yes it's already given here point two so the resultant force applies on the body so it can apply anywhere so even at point o point point uh, Point A, point B, point C, point D, anywhere the resultant force is 8.58 kilonewton. Now, to bring my uh, couple uh, uh, moment at point O, then you already know I have to at point O moments, couple moments, so that would be, so I'm, I'm basically in simple word, couple moment is basically moment at point O. So I've got this force into distance, I've got this force into its distance, I've got this force into, uh, sorry, into its distance, and I've got the force into distance, and simply I get this out. So in 2D, it is relatively easy, you can easily visualize when you take a moment and point at any one point it is basically the force into that distance so that basically creates the turning moment at that point so in 2d is relatively easy uh, in 3d you have to use the vector form 